What is electroweak unification? There are four fundamental forces in the universe. The first is gravity that acts on the mass of the objects around us. Then you have the weak nuclear force, which is responsible for radioactive beta decay. There is also electromagnetism that acts on the electric charge of particle, as well as the strong nuclear force that acts on the atomic nuclei to hold protons and neutrons together, or at an even more fundamental level, that acts on quarks and change one of their properties called color. The standard model is a theory that explains all known particles and all known forces except gravity. The standard model is what we call a gauge invariant theory. Gauge invariance means that you can take a function and See? change some of its parameters without modifying the observable characteristics of the function. In the 1960s, three men called Sheldon Glasgow, Abdus Salam, and Steven Weinberg discovered that they could formulate a gauge invariant theory of the weak force, but they needed to include the electromagnetic force inside their theory to make it work. Their theory included four particles, the photon, the Z0 boson, and the W plus and W minus bosons. The photon takes part in electromagnetic interaction, while the Z0 and the 2W boson participate in the weak interaction. The theory of Glasgow, Salam, and Weinberg is often said to exhibit an SU2 times U1 symmetry. The SU2 and U1 refer to some specific operation, transformations, or manipulations that you are allowed to make on your physical system, like the transformations done on gauge invariant systems. The SU2 mathematical properties describe a triplet of particles. A combination of the SU2 and U1 describe another single particle. Turns out that the three particles are the Z0 and the two W bosons, and that the lone one is the photon. So a single theory gives rise to all four of them, and therefore represents both the electromagnetic and the weak interactions. So how come the two interactions do not look the same in everyday life? You can have electromagnetic phenomena, like a bright light bulb, without having beta decay. Well, for the electromagnetic and weak forces to look the same, you need a very energetic environment, like the one fractions of fractions of fractions of seconds after the Big Bang. There, at that time, the weak and the electromagnetic forces were manifestations of a single force that we call the electroweak force.